I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and lot more secrets will be shared there. Hi, so let's uh, you know start learning a bit of Jyotish. Uh, one question was asked by a student. Why is Sun and Moon never retrograde? And why is Rahu and Ketu always retrograde? So it was a good question if you see from astronomical perspective. There are five retrograde planets. Uh, these are called Tara Graha, that means the Graha that looks like Tara or star in the in the sky. The five Tara Grahas are Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, Mars and Saturn. So all these five planets goes retrograde every year. Mercury goes three to four times a year. But uh, why does Sun and Moon never go retrograde? Have you ever thought about that? To understand that, you need to understand about retrograde motion. Retrograde motion is not a real motion, it's an apparent motion. Think it like this. Imagine that you are in the train or you are in a car and you are moving forward. So what happens now? The trees that you see are moving backward. But are the trees moving backward or you are moving forward? So you see this is an optical illusion. But in the cosmic phenomena when there are round and round motion or elliptical motion, when a planet which has higher velocity, angular velocity, crosses the planet which has slower angular velocity or orbital velocity, then the planet which is faster will cross that planet. Now, if you want to see this, imagine there are cyclists who are, you know, running in circles, you know, there are cycling uh, events. The one that is in the inner ring will sometime cross the one that is on the outer ring. But if you put a camera on the back helmet of the one who is in the inner ring, the moment he crosses the inner ring, the one that is in the outer ring will appear as if he is going backward or he is slowing down. This optical illusion is happening because you are moving faster. Similarly, when a planet such as uh, planet A moves faster than planet B, planet B for a moment will appear to move backward. I, I usually explain this with all the videos and graph in my classes. Uh, classes are launching soon. So, now when earth is moving in circles, circle as a frame of reference, uh, around the sun, what is happening? Uh, other planets are also moving but in the outer ring or in the inner ring. So, depending upon the angle of what earth makes with respect to sun and the planet, for some time that planet in consideration Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Venus will be appearing to move in a backward direction. That is called retrograde motion. But why is sun and moon not retrograde? First of all, earth is facing the sun. Earth is revolving around the sun. So, sun is stationary with respect to earth and a planet that is stationary cannot move. So, sun is not stationary which is also uh, one of the concept which tells us the heliocentric phenomena in Jyotish. Jyotish is not geocentric. Geocentric observation of a heliocentric reality is what Jyotish is. Now, moon. Moon is tidally locked to earth. That means you only see one face of the moon always, which is called the bright side of the moon. Then there is a dark side of the moon. Dark side of the moon is not visible to human eyes. That is why moon is tidally locked. Tidally locked means uh, the rotation speed of the earth and the rotation speed of the moon is same. Uh, if you want to know uh, more about this, you can google what is tidal locking of the moon or uh, on a very simple way, there are geostationary satellite. That means a satellite that is fixated on one location. Uh, which is in the geostationary orbit. When we say geostationary means it is stationary with respect to earth. So, moon is in fact stationary with respect to earth. And when we do that math, we see that the moon 
cannot move backward because there is because earth is stationary with respect to moon so if out of the two object one becomes stationary retrograde motion cannot happen so with when we consider about the frame of reference sun is stationary with respect to earth moon, earth is stationary with respect to moon but for any other planet both earth and the other planet are moving uh, you know with respect to the sun now if you go to mercury and create an astrology uh, mercury will become the same thing as earth and uh, earth will become another planet and earth will be move retrograde uh, you know if if the science is created with respect to human being evolving in mercury but here we have a science where human being has evolved on earth and this is why the sun and moon never go uh, retrograde again if sun and moon are not going retrograde but sun and moon are light so if light is moving in one direction and the direction of the light do not change the direction of the shadow will not change obviously now rahu and ketu are chhaya graha they are also the crossing cro intersection of the orbit of earth and moon again i have explained that with all the graphs and figures in my classes which will launch soon but here uh, because the rahu and ketu are chhaya graha that means they are not real they are just the shadow shadow cannot move in the direct motion because earth is not moving in the retrograde motion and not neither the sun or moon are moving with respect to earth if you combine all this that is why sun and moon are direct and uh, never retrograde rahu and ketu are always retrograde and cannot be direct any time in no matter how much they wobble so that was a brief introduction on a basic terms why uh, the retrograde motion happens only for certain planets and not for uh, the uh, four planets out of five are uh, not considered to be changing their direction rahu ketu permanently retrograde sun moon permanently direct hope this clears you the the, the concept of retrogression